What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jess and I'm doing a little European travel diary series. This is the third video and the last of this series. We're in Santorini, Greece. Never been here before. I'm so excited. We got here a few hours ago and I've just kind of been chill for the most part because we had an early flight out of Naples. And if you guys didn't see my Amalfi Coast vlog, make sure you check that out as well as the Paris one. I'll have those linked in the description box down below. But we are now in Santorini. We have about a week here. We're spending six nights at our hotel here and I'm so excited it's just stunning there's like the classic pink flowers of Greece right outside our hotel window this is gonna be a really great and fun vlog you can use this as a travel guide resource if you also plan to visit Santorini we got here before noon took the bus from the airport which was really easy it was only a euro 60 per person and it was about like a 15 minute ride from the airport to Fira we're staying at Patini's place guest house which is in Fira it's a really good central location right in the main town of Santorini other than Ia. We just walked around a bit before we checked in. We got some smoothie bowls for lunch, which we were very excited about. We're gonna head out, do a little walking around and get some food. We got a quick late lunch at Lucky Soup Locky, which is really close to where we're staying. I got the falafel one and then I thought it was all right. It was only 350 euro though. The pitas here is that they're really inexpensive or they should be pretty inexpensive. Two or three to five or six euros, I think is like the average. He got the chicken one and he really liked it. The people there were very friendly. I would probably recommend going for one of the meat ones if you want to go to Lucky's. We're gonna go back out now, do a little sightseeing. We're walking down to the old ports or old harbor. You see like the donkeys back there. I feel bad for the donkeys, but it smells terrible. Probably wouldn't recommend walking down. They have a cable car, six euros per person per way. So we're gonna take the cable car back up. We're just trying our best to watch where we're stepping. There you can see the cable car. I think it's a three minute ride. But as you can see, there's just not many people walking down this right now. And now we're kind of seeing why. We just made it down to the bottom and that was the most unpleasant walk I've ever done. Poop everywhere. The rocks are slippery too, so you have to be careful. So we had to walk really slow so that we wouldn't slip. I don't I recommend that the water is so clear here. Mushroom risotto, got some chicken filet with rice, a little salad. <laughs> It 
It's the next morning now. We just got a little breakfast at the place we went to yesterday, Stolen Fruit, which is just like a two minute walk away from us. So it's so convenient and it's very refreshing to just have a smoothie or a smoothie bowl. Gathering up our stuff. We're gonna do a little beach day at Kamari Beach. They do a direct bus from Fira to Kamari Beach. We are walking around Kamari now. We're heading to the beach. Lots of restaurants around here. secured some sunbeds in front of the Gia Moss restaurant. So you could sit in the chairs for free, which are right in front of the beach, but you just have to order food at some point. Some lamb kebab and moussaka. Potatoes, eggplant, and meat sauce. Oh, Looks good. good. Look at those layers. Mm. Saturday now. We just got breakfast over at Ego Mio, which was about a five minute walk from our hotel. It was really good. They have omelets, avocado toast with eggs. That's what we got. And then they also have pancakes and waffles. So we got some pancakes. They don't use authentic maple syrup, it seems like. It might be more just like pancake syrup. But they also have pancakes with like yogurts and fruits and Nutella, decadent pancakes as well. That looked really good. I would recommend that if you're looking for a proper breakfast or brunch. Just got ready. We're gonna head to Ia for the day. We just got dropped off at the bus stop in Ia. There's a couple food places right here. so cute.
got back from Ia. We were only there for a few hours. We saw the Blue Dome churches. We saw the windmill. We're gonna get some smoothie bowls at the stolen fruit place that we've been going to. Got some mini macalavas. Looks so good. It's the next day now. We got breakfast at Stolen Fruits, our go-to smoothie spot in Fiera, and then we just took the bus over to Parisa Beach or Parisa Beach. walking towards ancient Thera. We're gonna see if we can hike to that. Mari Beach from here in the town. the next morning now it's our second to last full day here we're going to leave now for a boat tour we grabbed a quick smoothie bowl it's stolen fruit and then we're just heading out now just got ready got my headband on ready to go for the boat we're doing a volcano tour slash hot springs it's about three hours and it costed us 25 or 26 euros per person i think it'll be a lot of fun so that's what we're heading off to now
I would definitely recommend booking one of these boat tours. They're not that expensive, and I feel like it's a great way to see more of the surrounding areas for Santorini, get off the island a little bit, and just do something a little different. to our dinner reservation now. We have an 8 p.m. reservation at Kokolo. That's how you say it, not sure. I think it's gonna be really good. Definitely some beautiful sunsets here in Santorini. our last full day here in Santorini. We just got up, got ready for the day, and we're keeping it really chill. We're gonna go get some breakfast. Well, it's kind of like a breakfast slash lunch because it's already noon, I think. We're gonna go back to Ego Mio, which is the place that we went to the other day that wasn't the smoothie bowl spot. Go to Akrotiri. We've had such an amazing trip so far. It's crazy that it's already coming to an end. It's gone by so fast, but at the same time, I feel like I've been here forever. But we're gonna make the most of our last day here. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. with feta cheese and tomato sauce. Looks really good. Our final dinner, we got some fish, salmon, mashed potatoes, and some sea bass. <laughs> and last but not least, we got some dessert. I'm not sure you're, I don't even know what this is, but it looks pretty good. You are very cute. Good times. <laughs> Thank you.
It's the next morning now, our last morning here. We just got some breakfast really quick at Stolen Fruit. We got the smoothie bowls as usual. And then we're checking out of our hotel, taking the bus back to the airport, and heading back home to New Jersey. We had such an incredible trip. I hope you guys all enjoyed these vlogs. If you guys didn't check out the Paris vlog or the Amalfi Coast vlog, be sure to check those out as well. I'll have them linked in the description box down below. The dinner we had last night was amazing. It was probably my favorite meal that we had here in Santorini, salt and pepper. I definitely recommend making a reservation there. I'm gonna have all the restaurants, eateries, things we did in the description box down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these vlogs. This is the end of the European Travel Diary series. I'm gonna be back to our regularly scheduled New Jersey vlogs and Northeast vlogs, that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next videos.